Hey there everyone, welcome to another episode of Gideon's Tactical. Today we're going to be doing a full field test for you guys on the Schrade Skax 5. This little guy is a beast and can definitely hold its own in the kind of tactical firefighter hatchet realm. So let's go ahead, I'll give you a couple basic specs and then we'll get out there and begin to use and show you the capabilities and what this is good for and what it's not good for with the SCAX All right, let's five. look at a couple basic specs here on the Schrade. What you have here is a total length of 3.1 inches on the head. Very nice sharp head, very easy to resharpen because it's SK5 steel, which is a high carbon, very tough steel. You see that a lot in uh, some of cold steel's items and it's a very tough durable steel and I'm, it's definitely a step up over most of Schrade's other hatchets and tomahawks that use 3CR 13 steel. This is a lot easier to resharpen will also be a lot tougher um, overall which is awesome so I'm really glad. Thank you Schrade. I hope you do more SK5 steel items. What you have is a total thickness of a quarter inch thick the whole length of the hatchet. Full tank construction, gotta love that polypropylene handles. We'll talk about those in a little bit. The total length from the top to the bottom is 12.8 inches. So just over, uh, you know, a foot in overall length and it weighs in at 26 ounces. So a uh, good half there to it. You can definitely, you know, get a good swing going. You got that nice spike and again, that full tang, real nice. Overall, uh, very impressed with the quality that I've seen on this uh, Skax 5. So let's go ahead, get out there and begin to use this thing. Take a look at the handle here. What it has is handle scales. They're kind of a polypropylene plastic. It has pocking, kind of like a golf ball, all over them, which is supposed to kind of help with traction, but it doesn't at all. It doesn't add any traction to it. I would like to see raises, maybe indentations, kind of like the pocking that we see on the zombie lines over at K-Bar. You know, that would have helped out a lot. You know, just do the opposite side of golf ball, kind of have it standing up. You have uh, Phillips head screwdrivers to be able to take the handle scales off. So if you did want to wrap this with like paracord or something, uh, I'm not going to do that just for the sake of time for this video. I uh, may at some point in the future, if I do, I'll do a video for that. But it has plenty of lashing for paracord if you wanted to do that. And it's very ergonomic, and I like that a lot. So I can either grab it up here, do some chopping back up here, do some chopping. So the handle's very ergonomic. And uh, this little flare back here helps keep it in your hand. It's not perfect. I would have liked to see that flare a little bit bigger to keep it from sliding out. But it does have a really nice lanyard. That uh, pry bar nail puller doesn't get in the way of your chopping. I'll just kind of demonstrate. Okay, so I'm going to grip the hatchet up high to kind of do a smaller choke, choked up chop. This is for more controlled chopping. You know, probably for something a little bit smaller than what you see here. But that's kind of how it's designed is for me to be able to hold it right here. It's not wanting to slide out of my hand, so that's good when I hold it up here. But you're not gonna get a huge, powerful swing out of it when you're doing it like this. This is for more controlled chopping. You know, maybe if you're trying to make like a spike or something like that, you can kind of, you know, do more of an angled chop like this. And it's very comfortable as I do it for this lighter chopping. But again, I'm not gonna get some powerhouse swings. Then if I choke back up here and let it go down lower, then I really got the grip and I'm gonna have the leverage to get some really hard, you know, over your head swings, basically. Mm. And that's when you can really go to town. But again, it's kinda of wanting to start to slip out of my hand. The lanyard helps, the little kind of hook out here helps a little bit. If they just made that a little bit more aggressive, in the hook, it would have definitely stayed in my hand constantly without having to reset. I'm kind of having to reset about every six or seven swings. Boom. That was right through a bunch of knots too. So, uh, not a bad handle design. I just would like to see the handle scales, probably just with some more texturing, but you can easily, again, you know, do like skateboard tape. You could do electrical tape. 
something like that hockey tape, or again, take them off and do paracord and do a paracord wrap around the whole neck of the knife. I think would be pretty sweet. I'm sure someone's going to do that here sooner than later on the Here's tree. the sheath for the hatchet. Real nice, Kodora nylon. You have attachments here with buttons so that you can either weave it through molly or you can easily attach it to your belt without taking your belt off or, you know, attach it to packs. I really like that a lot. Then you just have some buttons down here with a kind of a plastic insert. Easily just slide the head in, click the three buttons, and boom, you're ready to go. Good quality sheath, no complaints at all. Really well designed on this little hatchet. So one thing that's great about this is not only are you able to get a really good edge on this hatchet that will hold for a long time with that SK5 steel, but you can definitely do, you know, feather sticking, get feather sticks or, you know, fuzz sticks, whatever people want to call them, going very easily. I mean, this is very easy. It feels very comfortable. Tommy, back up. Back up, bud. Feels very comfortable in my hand. That neck, you're really, I think it was really designed for that. You're able to grab that real nice and comfy and then put your index finger there to kind of guide your cutting but you can definitely do carving tasks really well probably the best maybe no this is even better than the fiskars hatchet when it comes to this type of task if you have to with the hatchet you know obviously they're not really designed for this but it could definitely do that you hear that hollow sound when you snap it yeah that means it's really really dry nice and dry mm -hmm. but the other yeah. thing too okay the advantage and disadvantage is nice. really dry is that It'll start quick, but it'll go burn quick. fat. Yeah. Okay. So that's why you need to start getting obviously progressively larger logs on there to keep it right. burning. And eventually you can going. get big fuel on there. Once you get big coals, then you just put a log on there and just leave it a little bit. Yep. That spike on the back, that amazing penetration went all the way into that wood. It's really well designed. It's got kind of an unsharpened swedge the entire length of the spike up here at the top that I'm touching. You can easily sharpen that into an actually sharp edge, but this is razor sharp. This would definitely be able to penetrate through, you know, a small, a normal door, you know, not like a reinforced door, but a, look at that, almost all the way in that spike gets in there. It's got a triangular kind of punch, so it would definitely cause a very uh, lethal wound, you know, if you're maybe hitting someone in the head with that, uh, you know, if you are having to kind of tear through a wall or, you know, some sort of obstacle, regardless if you're a firefighter or maybe you're thinking about this for a bug out bag, I do think that that spike would work well. For wilderness use, there's no point. I don't really see a big use for this spike for wilderness use. I hope that they would in the future make a model that just doesn't have this uh, spike back here and that would be an awesome hatchet for wilderness uh, as it stands for either tactical or you know breaching or you know firefighting those type of things or bug out bag the spike does do a lot and it's very strong very capable and can easily take look at that really hard abuse no problem at all with that spike All right, everybody, so you've seen the Skax 5 in action. And uh, the first thing I got to say is I'm very impressed with the overall quality of this hatchet. I really dig it. I mean, this feels like over a $100 item, but they go for about 60 bucks. Last time I checked on Amazon, I'll have a link below uh, to probably my recommended place to purchase them. Good price. Uh, 60 bucks is totally worth it, I think. You're getting a good quality sheath. You're getting SK5 good, you know, tool steel that's tough, easy to resharpen. The full tang is awesome. Uh, you know, there's really, for what this is, nothing that I can complain about except for the handles. If there's just better traction on the handles in the future, it would be awesome if they kind of re redo the handles, scales a little bit. I think that would be uh, a little bit of a help. But other than that, super impressed with this thing for what it is, which I think... I, again, this isn't, I wouldn't recommend taking this as like your survival hatchet, you know, out in the woods for wood processing. There's just better stuff out there on the market and get a pure, you know, wood processing tool. But for either a bug out bag, you know, you want to stick this in your bug out bag for, you know, when the zombie apocalypse or the crap hits the fan. I, I think this would be a fantastic option for you. You know, it's not super heavy, uh, but it has a really good capabilities. And again, full tang, can't complain about that. Or again, you are looking for something that for a breaching tool, either in the military or a fire 
firefighter, you know, something like that, that I think this would definitely hold up to any sort of really hard, rigorous abuse you would have to have going through obstacles, um, you know, breaking down doors and prying open things. This is definitely strong enough and capable enough to do it and at a really good price compared to other items on the market. So uh, I hope this review has helped you guys out. If this is kind of the, the axe you're looking for, hatchet you're looking for, I would definitely recommend checking out the Shred Skax 5. Well, everyone, thank you so much for watching this particular episode of Gideon's Tactical. Please subscribe, comment, like the videos, share the videos, and check out our Facebook page. You can find it on the YouTube homepage of Gideon's Tactical. Like our Facebook page where you'll get updates of upcoming videos. Uh, you'll get photos as well as upcoming gear, new gear releases, you know, that products and companies that uh, are released, as well as behind the scenes footage and bloopers that you'll never see make it to YouTube. So thanks so much for watching, everyone. Stay equipped, stay prepared. We'll see you out there.